Welcome back, Georgina. So what do you do with thin hair? Our next guest, Margaret Harrison from Hair I Go, is going to show each and every one of you how to fluff up that thin hair. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, it's been a while. And Thank our you. lovely model, Arden, who's yes. a member of the Rogers family by... Right. Absolutely, hello oh, there. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too. So we have a whole bunch of stuff going on here. We do. Where we do. are we beginning? Okay, um, well we can talk about um, how to thicken up the hair without putting any um, perms and colors in the hair. Okay. Lots of different uh, things you can use at home. Um, so these are traditional um, rollers, magnetic rollers. They don't stay in the hair, you have to wrap and clip. Yep. Um, the thing with these is the size makes all the difference in the world for um, the, the body that you okay. want to create and the length of the hair. So for instance, these are a um, roller with little picks. These are a little easier than those. Oh, Georgina, they <laughs> saved many, many a roller set for me over the years. So for Arden's hair, if I want to create body, I want to use the biggest roller I can find to wrap into the hair to create right. body. So it, it, the less it wraps, the more body she's going to have. Right. If it's small and you're wrapping and it's winding around and around and around, she's right. going to end up with a really tight, Tighter. fuzzy curl. Yes. Oh, oh, fuzzy. Oh, right. we don't want fuzzy. You don't want fuzzy. Oh, so, okay. So this just creates body at the roots. So the bigger, okay. the, the, bigger the rod, the less turns it makes, mm -hmm. um, the, the better it is to give just body because you're not really going for curl. You're just going for a body in the hair. Just to fluff it up so it looks... Right, nice and full. Yes. Um, the other thing is uh, using products with that because yes. you need mousse or gel. Arden's hair being very fine, um, you are better to use a mousse that kind of beefs the hair up, um, swells the, the hair. Uh, where if you use gel on Arden's hair, it would be too heavy. Mm -hmm. Or even Aragon oil, it's nice, but it's heavy. So it tends to weigh the hair down, and you, that's the last thing you want to do. So you'd put in a mousse, okay. um, you would wrap it in a roller, um, and you can spray it and let it dry. Or if you have a dryer, you can dry. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing you can do is you can always put body perms in. So, oh, gosh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Always? So then these are definitely coming back. Oh, this my is, gosh. Are people, they really? Yeah, mm -hmm. people are liking them because it, it makes life a lot easier, right? Oh, this so, is going to be fun. Yeah, so you can you can go as big as this, and these these size rods. So that would just sort of give you that little Very little. Wave. Depending on how long the hair is. If you yes. took this on my hair, it's going to wrap quite a bit. Yes. So I'm going to get more of a wave, right? Yeah. Um, if I use a tight one, it's going to be a bit fuzzier because I'm wrapping up. It's turning so many, many times. Right. Um, on Arden's hair, if I used this size of ruler, um, it would really just give her one wave, and that's it. So they don't last as long, per se, because right. this would be giving her that little lift at the root. Um, not a lot of curl. So then you might want to use two different ones to, to alternate <clears throat> and give different curl shapes, right? Right. Um, for right. body. If you use small, that's more curl. You right. want to stay away from the tight curl, right? Stay away from the tight curl. But yeah. you could also um, use a curling iron. Definitely. Yes. So curling irons, are, again, um, if you're going for body, you don't want to use a really tight curl right. iron. You want to use something with the barrels that are larger. So these are quite large. Um, another trick when creating body in fine hair, instead of curling back, mm -hmm. sometimes it's nice to... Um, curl the hair kind of in a spiral curl so that yes. they all fall on top of each other instead okay. of down. So on Arden's, I, this one's a little bit big for big. her, um, but you could take something like this and you could spiral curl this around. This is with no product either, so this right. makes it a bit, yeah. um, but you can kind of put them down on top of each other. Okay. So they're stacking. So you're stacking the curls above each other. And you can see this is a little more curl, but her hair is fine. Um, you could spray that kind of... And that's of making it more full. Right. Too, and then with the layers of the... Yeah, and then just use your hands and kind of fluff it up. Mm -hmm. um, and then on another section, I'll just show you the bigger curl. Um, so this is something that would really give you no curl. It would just be giving you lift and body at the root. Oh, that's interesting. So this one here is just kind of 
And you'd have your mousse on, so that would support that as it well, would. too, then. And hairspray, yes. too. Yeah. Um, obviously, this one is bigger, so it's just going to give you yeah. more bounce than curl, right? Um, so that helps. And I guess the other thing, too, with fine hair is perms, but also highlights and colors. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, because that gives you texture, correct? Yeah. 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 And it, it swells the hair. Um, shaft, so instead of it laying very fine, mm -hmm. um, it swells it and makes it a little more bounce to it, right? And uh, yeah. I remember, because I used to color my hair all the time, mm -hmm. and I can remember going getting a haircut and thinking, oh, it's just not right, but then I'd do my every three weeks blonde, yeah. and yes, to your point, it's that texture and it just feels Definitely. bigger. I mean, hello, I can only get so <laughs> big with the six I have, but yeah. You know, it's true. Um, so even just putting like a, a highlight in her hair uh, from the root down, mm -hmm. um, it's going to give her that lift at the root um, because the hair is now processed. So basically when that happens, when it starts to grow out and she's got a bit of a root, mm -hmm. most people with fine hair, it starts to flop a bit. Yes. Okay. Um, it gets puffy down here because the curl, but up here it, it needs that little bit of almost damaging the hair right. to, mm -hmm. um, to, to make it behave and give you a body, right? <laughs> but I mean, it is great to know that we we can because, I mean, how do you feel if you know you're in front of the mirror for half an hour and you walk away going, well, I looked exactly as I did. <laughs> that would be frustrating. Exactly. Especially if you're going out of an evening or something. So For sure, yeah. Yeah, it's great to be able to have that lift if exactly. you exactly <laughs> yeah and if you do want extra lift you can yeah. you can actually um, buy combs like this that have the small teeth in between oh. um, and the little pick on the end for lifting yes these are great you yes. know what this oh, is oh yes um, so basically lifting up the hair you can spray if you want you can back comb a little uh -huh. bit yeah. and Look, that creates and body yeah. and then you can just take your spray and and kind of lift it and this again you yes. can lift oh, with and yes. spray so they're just little Little, little tools that make life a little bit easier. Yeah. So. Back combing too, I mean, from what yes. I get, that's really starting to come back, isn't it? Well, for updos and weddings and stuff, yeah. we, we do a lot of back combing. That's yes. pretty normal. Yes. Um, but yeah, all the stuff that once was is coming back. It, and like perms, <laughs> perms are something that people think are just for old people. Yeah. But right. they're not. No. <laughs> well, and I mean, just the, the lines of products, it, it doesn't matter what hair, kind of hair you've got. Exactly. There is a line of product out there. There that certainly you is. That will use together. Yes. To give you the ultimate. So, yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's interesting, you know, what's old is new it's again. New. That's right, yeah. So the perms that I've been doing a lot of recently are a little bit more um, big curls, big bouncy curls, but like I say, they are usually done on a little longer hair, um, and they just get a wave. It's, it's So when they walk out, they don't look like they just had a perm. Oh it doesn't look like a fresh new a curl. curl. <laughs> right, right. And sometimes... A tony. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Tonys. Ooh, that's like this. That's yes. like really tight. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of times people are misled. They think that everything has to be a lot of curl, tight yes. curl, and, and it really doesn't. Um, and even these on the right length of hair are body. Um, because if your hair is shorter mm -hmm. and you wrap it up, you're only actually wrapping it a couple times, times. which means you're still going to get a body perm. Yeah. So the tighter the rod, you're wrapping it more, the tighter the curl, yes. right? Right. Yeah. See, that's good, because I never really knew that. Mm -hmm. I really didn't. No. And you know what? Some people actually use the, the rollers on their hair, like, without a perm solution. Yes. They... Like, I have some mm -hmm. older ladies that do. They wrap their hair yeah. up like they're doing a perm on their hair, so let it dry, and pick it where up. Where are we sending our viewers? Uh, so, here I go uh, Instagram or here I go um, on Facebook. Wonderful. Thank, thank you so much. And thank you so much. Lovely to have you back You're in the welcome. studio. Thank you so much. Great. <laughs> so, Georgina, don't go anywhere. We've still got more on today's Georgina Life.